Our estimates are not exact, even if they are exact. A lecture program, Dr. John Ayuso. Our estimates are our thinking process regarding what we want to happen ahead. When we look at the time, we do a reference point regarding the things that we want to get done. When we go to a meeting, we have a purpose why we go there. When we fill up a form, we usually do it because we get something out of it. Whether we are aware about it or not, we mark our progress with some points. We are also aware of our borders. We have the two-way look, the look to the past and the look to the future. And we do mark our progress by recognizing the past of time and what is our condition in the present. When fishermen go to the sea to fish, they simply trust their instinct, their basic instinct. And we can say that we are able to still eat fish today because of the ingenuity of the fishermen. Farmers, too, go to farm with estimates. It is because there is just no definite certainty of their harvest. Farmers measure their produce by the amount of plants or seeds that they put into the ground and the amount of care that they also put in to tend to their crops. Jim Rohn said, life is art, wealth is math. In life, some things cannot be measured exactly, but some things have to be exactly measured. Money, being that it is wealth, has to be exactly counted. Money is not only dependent on estimates, money has to be accounted for. A little short in many places can become big when accounted for. Measurements have to be exact. But why is it that though we make our exact estimate of what we want to have in the future, we don't get them exactly as what we want to get? The law is called the law of more or less. And more or less is used in our estimate. The more or less law is commonly called as the law of average. We sometimes hear the saying, leverage for the average. They say, aim for the moon, because if you do not hit it, at least you will land among the stars. Our life is a point system, like our birthday, our anniversary, our graduation, our wedding day, our first job, our audition, our interviews, etc., which marks our progress. In the law of architecture, every measurement has to be exact. The law of physics has exactness as well as estimate. But in architecture, estimate is a mortal sin, so to speak. In life, we have the facts of certainties. But these certainties are not really definitely certain when you, because of the factor of distance and time, you. A vehicle has the factor of the fact of certainty. But due to distance and time used, certainty becomes an estimate. So, sometimes the answer, it is sure, but it is not certain, is correct. Because of materiality, we have to measure life, and he who measures gets the share. Spirituality, like belief, cannot be measured, since it cannot be quantified. But material things like success can be measured, and you can get the result as intended. Materiality can yield the distance, the weight, a 
and the volume. And so measurement is a must when building a material building, a ship, an airplane, a car, etc. But we cannot measure love exactly. We can only estimate. We cannot measure belief. We cannot measure fairness. We cannot measure hope, and even success cannot be measured. You can measure money, but not success. You can measure riches, but not life. You can measure materiality, but not spirituality. And so, even if the estimate is exact, yet we don't exactly get the measurement. Architectural plan is exact to be to the detail, but life's plan, though written up and measured, like giving a time frame, cannot really be measured as it happens. It is impossible. That is why our plans often fail. That is why many people, though they plan to succeed, do not succeed. But an estimate, when measured and written up, has greater possibility of fulfilling when all the necessary actions and disciplines are enacted upon. That is why I teach people that if to be a millionaire can be learned, then it is worth our while learning it. And why not? Can a person who does not know how to drive, drive? The answer is no. But can a person who does not know how to drive may learn how to drive? The answer is yes. Can a person who does not know how to become a millionaire become a millionaire? The answer is no. But can a person study or learn how to become a millionaire? And the answer is yes. So why not study it? Why people do not study the necessary lessons in order to become better in life is because of the law of estimate. The mind has to be convinced of the dynamic law of certainty, not estimate, not just faith or belief. Faith and the dynamic of certainty are quite different. When you do a amazement work, like putting up a hollow block to put a wall, would you need faith? When you are driving a car running to go to a certain destination, would you need faith? And why not? It is because of the law of certainty, which is the law of material dynamics. What you have and what you do does not need any believing. So the people who aspire or wish that they become a millionaire do not study the lesson because of the law of estimate. What we all need is to apply the law of estimate into the law of material dynamics. You have to convince your mind that people are not convincing themselves. If each and every one of us is convinced that when we take up the study of the law of material dynamics and measurement, we'll all become millionaires, then we will all spend our time studying the law, which is the law of certainty rather than the law of faith. The law of faith is belief, and the law of certainty action. The law of sowing and harvest works the same way. You will reap what you sow, and so farmers sow, and fishermen go to fish in the sea, and they harvest. The law of sowing and reaping and the two laws apply, which are the law of belief and the law of action. Imagine yourself being given 20 more years to live. And you are given a measurement, not just the law of estimate. Imagine that you are sowing a seed of the so-called millions of pesos, and you will reap these millions of pesos in the next six years. Normally, what comes to the mind of the individual is the law of faith, or estimate does not work. Uh, it takes a long time, but it is not sure, you might say. It is because six years are many years and indeed a long time. 
But the law of action is one principle, and that is the principle of the now, while the law of faith has the principle of the future. The law of the now means it is action now, day to day, measuring or quantifying success. The law of action does not see the six years, it sees today. So, if you are promised that in six years you will get your millions, the study starts within the action of today and you continue in acting the action, doing the same thing over and over and over again. Is it possible that in six years you will become a millionaire? The answer is not it is possible. The answer is it is certain. One good thing for becoming a millionaire is to be said that you have become greatest value in life is not in the getting, but it is in the becoming. After you get the millions, get them all the way. Your target is not the millions. Your target is simply the becoming of it. At least you can tell yourself and the people around that you have become. When you are asked if you have been to New York City, you might say no. What if you will make it a goal before going to heaven to visit New York City. Will you be so proud of yourself if you finally saw New York? It is the same thing with becoming a millionaire. Having the money is the main thing. The reason why people are not getting what they would like to have in life is because, firstly, they do not have the estimate. Secondly, they do not have the measurement. Thirdly, they do not have the law of faith. And fourthly, they do not have the law of certainty, which is the law of action. And sadly speaking, many people do not even think. Not demeaning the SP, there are so many of them that do not think. They think that they think, but in reality, they are not thinking. What do you do if you want to fly? you get your estimate. What do you do if you want to travel abroad? You get your estimate. And so if you want to become a millionaire, get into the estimate, get into the study, get into the action. Will a student who studies law in the university become a lawyer eventually if he perseveres to the end? The answer is yes. Will you become a millionaire if you undertake a course of study, a business activity, and you persevere until the end? The answer is yes. So, in building up materiality, you need exact measure. Faith, estimate, and action based on a measurement will yield all of us true success. That is why I do not have any doubt in my heart that what I'm doing for the Philippines will succeed. I want to be proclaimed as the hero for changing the lives of so many people. And I want to be remembered as the man who saved people from religion and set them free in the freedom of godliness. Estimate with the support of good health and the endurance of time will eventually yield the aspiration of a person that will last forever. Thank you very much. This is Dr. John.